After the break, the Cumbrian who's walking all the way to Downing Street to take his protest to the Prime Minister. Join us at six. Hello and welcome to Look Around. We have 30 minutes of all the region's news coming up right now. Thanks for joining us. A long march in protest. The Cumbrian who's walking all the way to Downing Street to take on the Prime Minister. I'm not a political activist, but I'm increasingly concerned about the state of the country's finances and indeed the government. Nearly a thousand workers will be hit by the week-long closure at one of the region's biggest factories. Car industry, it's on its knees, isn't it? Um, hope it picks up. Really do. I think it's a long way off. And parents are hearing the latest on Carlisle's troubled Richard Rose Academy at a special meeting tonight. He covers many miles in his job as a truck driver and describes himself as a physical wreck. But now Nick Lindwell is travelling over 260 miles from Cumbria to London on foot with a message for Gordon Brown. Victoria Ho reports. Here, though, it's time for the sport. Here's Stuart. Thanks very much, Fiona. Let's start with football. And out of favour, Carlisle striker Kevin Gall has gone on a month's loan to Port Vale. So he won't be on the team coach to Peterborough tonight, where Carlisle take on playoff chasing Posh in League One. It's a vital game for United, who are in danger of being sucked into a relegation battle. Now, if you take a look at the League One tail, which we can see now, you'll see Carlisle sit just five points above Brighton, who occupy the final relegation spot. Teams normally need around 50 points to survive, so by my calculations, Greg Abbott and his players require four or five wins from their last 15 games to be safe. In Scottish Division 3, Annan head to Berwick tonight. Both teams won well at the weekend, so it's a battle of two informed sides at Shieldfield Park. It's an especially important evening for Annan, who are chasing a playoff place. Let's have a look at the Division 3 table. Annan are lying sixth, just four points outside the playoff places held by Dumbarton. With 14 games to go, Harry Kearney's men need to keep up that winning run if they're to give themselves any chance of promotion in their first season in the SFL. And we'll bring you reports of both matches in tomorrow's look around. But that's all from me for now. So, Stuart, some pretty vital fixtures then tonight. Absolutely, especially uh, for Carlisle there. They, they need a win, but it's one of their tougher remaining games. So, you know, three points would be terrific tonight. A draw, probably a good result. For Annan, though, they need to keep that winning run up to sneak into the playoffs. Stuart, thanks very much indeed for that. Now it's time for the last in our series of A Day in the Life. Now, let's have the weather forecast. Here's Philippa. I'm a diet traveller, baby. Four light breaks per year. I throw my undies in a case and just get out of here. Good evening. Thought I would start with a picture tonight for a change. And thank you to Anne Bone for cap capturing this flock of starlings in Gretna. What a stunning shot that is. So in a nutshell, tomorrow there are outbreaks of rain, but it should be clearing from the north as we go through the day. Tonight the cloud is thickening up, patchy rain in places, with temperatures dropping to around 4 degrees. Sunrise tomorrow is at 7.11 with sunset at 5.40. So a cloudy, rainy, drizzly start to tomorrow and that rain is heading south. As we go through the afternoon, it should brighten up, particularly for the north of the region with temperatures very similar to today and fairly light winds. Let's take a quick look at the next few days. Well, it is still cloudy, it is still drizzly and there are bits and bobs of sunshine too. I will leave you tonight with some very valuable pancake advice. Now, I'm no great shake at making pancakes, but I do know that I think it involves flour, eggs, possibly a bit of sugar. Anyway, whatever you're doing, have a good night and maybe this will help you. It was written by Christina Rossetti in the 19th century. Speak to you later. Bye-bye. ITV Regional Weather with BMIBaby.com
Thanks for that, Philip. Are you planning pancakes tonight? I had forgotten it was Pancake Tuesday, but yes, I'll get home and make some and toss Great them. Great yeah. <laughs> now, don't forget you can get much more from ITV Border if you check out our website at itvlocal.com forward slash border. And that's all we have time for this Tuesday. The ITV News is coming up after a short break. Look around's back at six o'clock tomorrow with a brand new lineup. Pam Royal and Ian Payne will be presenting the show. So quite a few changes, but Fiona and I and other familiar look around faces will continue to bring you the stories from our region. So we hope you'll be with us too. We do indeed. For now though, bye-bye. Have a great evening. Goodbye. <laughs>